Embarking on a mission for a sustainable fisheries sector and economic prosperity, the Ministry of Agriculture, Fisheries, Food Security and Rural Development has joined hands with the Denry Fishermen's Cooperative to deploy a new floating aggregating device off the coast of Denry. This marks another significant step in the ongoing fat development program, which seeks to strategically position these devices to benefit fishermen across St. Lucia. Similar to the fads previously deployed, this newly introduced fad in Denry is designed to mimic natural floating objects like logs and plants, enticing fish and consequently elevating the efficiency and yield of fishing operations. Operations Supervisor of the Denry Fishermen's Cooperative, Agnita Thomas, in expressing her excitement, underscores the substantial cost-saving advantages of this newly introduced fad. As our cooperative every year donate a fad to our fishers from the surplus of their monies at the cooperative when they save, um, this year was given the third fad that we have deployed for them. And we welcome in this one from the government would make it even more sustainable for them because they will have at least four fads in the water. So it would be something that the fishers will be happy. They are already happy with what they already have. And that would be a surplus for them that sometimes it's not too many of them that can be in one location. So having a, a fourth one in the water, that would be something that they would be enjoying in the near future. Minister for Agriculture, Fisheries, Food Security and Rural Development, Honorable Alfred Prosper, says this comprehensive strategy employed by the Agriculture Ministry reflects the government's unwavering commitment to the well-being of its fishermen and the sustainable use of marine resources. The fad belongs to every fisher. It is not because it was deployed in Denry that it belongs to the Denry fishermen and that the Viewfort fishermen, the other fishers, cannot utilize it or access it. It belongs to every fisher folk in St. Lucia. And the policy is that our fishers has to access it on a day-to-day -day basis and there will be no restrictions for them. In the past, we've realized that most of the fads are being cut by ships and other vessels going around. And we have been working with SLASPA to assist us in getting the appropriate locations for deployment of those fads because we would hate to know that whenever those fads are deployed, that boats and ships and other vessels you know, interfere and cut them. We understand the importance of the fishery sector in terms of food and nutrition security. And I always believe that our fishers need to be given the assistance to help them sustain the livelihoods. Continuing its strategic program to deploy fads throughout the island, the Ministry of Agriculture, Fisheries, Food Security and Rural Development expects that the introduction of the fad in Denry will serve as a catalyst for heightened industry efficiency within local communities. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Agriculture, I am Anicia Antoine reporting.